Mechanical seals are commonly used in a wide range of industrial applications, sealing liquids in pumps or gas in compressors. Reliability, safety and emission control is more important than ever. This purpose sounds simple, but designing mechanical seal components and selecting the most appropriate materials is a real challenge, especially sealing vaporizing fluids in refinery applications. Mechanical seals consist of two seal faces sliding on each other, shown here in green and blue. The pump fluid itself provides the required liquid lubrication, shown here in red. Seal phase friction generates heat and as pressure drops in the sealing gap, light hydrocarbons with low vapor pressure margins start to vaporize. The API 682, the global standard for mechanical seals, defines light hydrocarbons as a hydrocarbon liquid which will readily boil at ambient conditions. API 682 applied different rules like the 30% vapor pressure margin or the 20 Kelvin rule or the actual force addition requires 3.5 bar, which means 50 PSI, seal chamber pressure above the fluid vapor pressure. Poor vapor pressure margins leads to a reduced lubrication film stiffness. Thus, the point of vaporization is moving and dependent where it is finally, it results in liquid lubrication, mixed fluid lubrication or dry running, which destroys the mechanical seal faces by excessive wear or chipping. Now, how can the required pressure margin be maintained? There are three options to suppress or avoid dry running. First, raising the seal chamber pressure by removing the back wearing or plugging the impeller balance holes or utilizing an external flush fluid in combination with a close clearance road bushing, which will utilize a plan 11 from the discharge nozzle, so from the higher pressure source. Or second, lowering the seal chamber temperature by cooling the flush fluid, also called piping plan 21, or by utilizing an external flush fluid, also a piping plan 11, as a cold flush fluid to help removing the seal generated heat. Especially for dual seal arrangements, by pressurizing of the normal pressure less buffer fluid, for example, piping plan 55 defined in API 682 force edition. Some details to option one, raising the seal chamber pressure by using a throat bushing, which is a device that forms a restrictively close clearance around the sleeve or shaft between the inner seal of the impeller. The throat bushing is installed between the impeller and the inner seal. It is used to restrict and control the flow, 
to increase the seal chamber pressure or for recirculation from the seal chamber to the suction side of the pump. This throat bushing can be a component of the mechanical seal cartridge as well. Some details to option two, lowering the seal chamber temperature by the piping plan 21, which is defined as a recirculation from the discharge side through an orifice and a heat exchanger to the seal chamber and then back to the suction side. The seal chamber is isolated from the hot pump fluid, ideally by a throat bushing. Piping plan 21 provides cooling and can be used to raise the pressure in the seal chamber to avoid evaporization. If not even one of these options is possible, the mechanical seal suppliers can offer the following state-of-the-art sealing solutions. A dual wet seal according API 6A2 defined as arrangement 2. Both seals liquid lubricated which means a piping plan arrangement 11 plus 52. The dual unpressurized liquid seal with a buffer fluid pressure maintained lower than the seal chamber pressure. The buffer fluid reservoir is piped to a flare system at nearly atmospheric pressure. The inner seal operates on process fluid, so consideration must be given to the vapor pressure margin in the seal chamber. The outer seal is also liquid lubricated in a typical piping plan 52 configuration. Low vapor pressure margins may result in a dry running risk. And in order to generate a more stable lubrication film and providing additional cooling, seal faces are modified by different face topography. A typical example is shown in this application. Dual seal in tandem arrangement in combination with pipeline 11 and 52 running in propane at low vapor pressure margins of 0.9 or 2.5 bar. In this case, the used phase topography is called HS grooves, hydrodynamic grooves machined in one sliding phase to improve the liquid lubrication. There are different options on seal face texture structures like the hydrodynamic grooves or hydropads, which are also shown in this picture, laser tech, which is shown here at the bottom, or even a special material called diamond face. All of these just to ensure a proper fluid film between the mechanical seal faces. Another seal configuration is also a dual unpressurized seal. The inner seal is the same as in the example before, but the outer seal is now a dry running containment seal. And the cavity between these two seals is filled with process vapor, which is the leakage of the inner seal. Containment seals are non-contacting gas seals running on process vapor 
or with a piping plan 72 inert buffer gas purge. Process leakage, which does not fully vaporize, is collected in the piping plan 75. This slide explains the piping plan 75, a leakage collection system for zero or very low process emissions to the atmospheric side, the environment. It is defined by API 6A2 as containment seal chamber leakage collection system for condensing or mixed phase leakage on an arrangement to seal. This slide shows the same seal configuration, but in combination with piping plan 72 plus 76, which means this is for hydrocarbons, which fully vaporize in the containment seal cavity and then being vented to the flare system. This is called piping plan 76. The piping plan 76 is defined as a containment seal chamber drain for non-condensing leakage on an arrangement to seal, which means the leakage will be sent to the flare in order to minimize process emissions to the atmospheric side. A unique configuration is shown at this slide. A smart solution for applications like LNG with a specific gravity smaller than 0.5 where the process fluid is being pumped at a pressure very close to the vapor pressure. So vapor pressure margin cannot be maintained and the inner seal is replaced with a non-contacting gas seal, which works independently whether the product in the seal chamber is in a liquid, in a vapor or in a mixed phase. This is a hybrid seal. The liquid product evaporates in the seal gap. The lift off is achieved by specific gas grooves. So pure dry running is avoided. This seal arrangement does not need a piping plan 11 and a piping plan 72 with nitrogen purge is desirable. Let's talk now about the materials for the seal faces used in these applications. In general, these seals are equipped with blistering resistant carbon graphite versus silicon carbide or diamond face technology. Now, what is diamond face? What kind of magic material is this? It was developed together with the German Research and Development Institute, the Fraunhofer Institute for Surface Engineering and Thin Films. And it is an innovative microcrystalline diamond seal face material with all the attributes of natural diamond which are artificially grown diamond crystals on a silicon carbide seal face surface, which are offering unique properties, like you see them here. They are extremely hard, which means we have a high wear protection, which means maximum robustness. And especially dealing with light hydrocarbons, the advantages are the excellent heat conductivity, 
the minimum friction coefficient and the extended dry running capability of this material. Finally, this material offered a significantly extended lifetime shown in different kind of applications. Finally, this slide is a guideline for the selection of the seal arrangements. Dependent on the vapor pressure margin and understanding the challenges helps selecting the correct seal and seal support system without using an arrangement tree seal, which is pressurized with a barrier fluid in combination with piping plan 53, 54 or 74. These three options, the seal concepts for vaporizing fluids, are given as the seal configuration 2CWCW, so two wet lubricated seals in succession, or the arrangement 2CWCS, a contacting wet seal in combination with a containment gas seal, or the hybrid seal 2NCCS, a non-contacting gas seal in combination with a gas containment seal. Mechanical seals in the arrangement 2, dual seals unpressurized, have proven their capability of sealing vaporizing fluids successfully in refinery applications. If you have any questions, please let me know. My name is Nikolaus Necker. I'm with Eagle Burgmann, Germany.